Hi guys, and welcome to a Hector mini lecture guide to the mechanic Twin Songs Aperia, or as many of you may know it, Five Heads. This is one of the major mechanics found in the Ensinger's Aria Extreme fight in Final Fantasy XIV. Let's break it down. First, when the boss casts Twin Songs Aperia, it spawns five heads around the arena, four on the intercardinals, one in the middle. The one in the middle is gonna have an arrow. This shows which direction it's about to cleave. That means that you need to get behind that head. The other heads are going to show either point blank AoEs or donuts, and the party needs to adjust into a donut on the safe side. From this point onwards, the pattern is set. The head in the middle is always going to rotate exactly 90 degrees clockwise and do its next cleave in that direction, as are the pattern of donuts and point blank AoEs. So the party will rotate clockwise one direction as well. This will repeat one more time, everything rotating clockwise. Now for the fun part. The boss next casts Theological Fatalism and each of the heads has a ring around it. This is trying to tell you which of the previous mechanics it's going to rewind to, with one ring saying it's gonna do the mechanic it just did, two rewinding back to the middle mechanic, and three rewinding back to the first mechanic. Let's focus on the middle head first. If the middle head gets one ring, it's going to cleave directly in front of it where it is. If the middle head gets two rings, it rotates counterclockwise back one direction towards the four direction in this case. Finally, if the head has three rings, it's going to flip around and cleave directly behind it. With that, when you see the pattern, the first thing you should do is look at the middle head and identify which side it's going to cleave to. That immediately eliminates two possible safe spots and means that you only have to check two heads to see which of the two is possibly safe. So how do we check if those are safe or not? Well, if we look at the AOE pattern that we saw on the first and the third, and these will always be the same, it looked like this. An easy way to remember this is if you stay put at the end of the mechanic, you will already be in a donut, and therefore you know that that one and the one opposite are the ones that have donuts on one and three. This is what the second set of AOE patterns, that means the ones that are adjacent to you, either directly vertical or horizontal, are donuts on two. That's all we care about is where the donuts are. If we bring our ring patterns back, both the head that you ended up on and the head directly opposite it, those are going to be safe on one and three. The head directly horizontal and vertical from you, those are going to be safe on two. First, look at the middle head, identify which side it's going to cleave, eliminate two options. Secondly, I recommend looking at the head directly horizontal or vertical to you. In this case, the one at C. Does it have two rings? If it's got two rings, go to it. It doesn't have two rings in this case, so it's not the safe spot, it's the other one, go to that head. And if you wanted to, you could see that that head happens to be safe this time because it's got three rings. So, as soon as the mechanic of the party recognizes this, everybody runs over, hides there. Don't forget, at the very end, you still have to deal with two healer stacks while also dodging an Elenkos. That's it. That's the entirety of five heads. I hope you found this guide useful and let me know in the comment section if there's any other mechanics that are giving you particular trouble that you'd like a little bit more commentary on. Thanks guys for watching, take care.